sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And guess what? Mismatch Monday is back and ready to go here. Let me see if I can just adjust the camera a little better here. I don't know. I don't know if that's better. But anyway, uh, we're going today to do the 1947 Yankees visiting the 1947 St. Louis Browns. Both teams were in the American League. This was before the DH, so the pitchers will hit. And the Yankees in 1947 were 97 and 57, and they were the American League champions. And the Browns were 59 and 95, and they were in last place in the American League. So you got the best team in the American League against the worst team in the American League from 1947. So you couldn't ask for a better mismatch Monday. Um, at least I don't think you could. So uh, we're going to go over the lineups. First for the visiting Yankees. You have Phil Rizzuto leading off and playing shortstop. The second batter will be Yogi Berra, and he will be catching today for the Yankees. The third batter will be Jolton Joe DiMaggio, and he'll be in center field. The cleanup hitter is going to be Tommy Henrick, and he is playing in right field. George McQuinn will be the first baseman batting fifth. Billy Johnson is going to be the third baseman batting sixth. Johnny Lindell will be in left field, and he's batting seventh. Stuffy Sternweiss is going to be the, the second baseman and batting eighth. And batting in the ninth spot will be today's Yankee pitcher, and that's going to be Vic Rashi. Now, Vic Rashi in 1947 was 7-2. In 105 innings pitched, he had a 300, uh, 387 earned run average. Now, the only reason, really, the the biggest reason I'm pitching Vic Rashi is because I just like to say the name Vic Rashi. And I think he pitched in another game for me I had on the channel. And I said the same thing, because I do. So, uh, they are all going to be facing the St. Louis Browns pitcher Sam Zoldak and Sam Zoldak is nine and ten with a three forty seven earned run average and he pitched one hundred and seventy one innings and allowed one hundred and sixty two hits, so he is actually probably the Browns' best starting pitcher. I've given the Browns every advantage I can, and we'll talk about another one of those when we go over their lineup. But the first batter of the game is going to be Phil Rizzuto. Not one of my favorites, and uh, that is going to be a 2-8. I guess we're going to have an issue with that happening, but, you know. 2-8 uh, is a pop-out to the shortstop, so he gets a pop-out 6, and Yogi Bear is the next batter. And he gets a 3-7, which is a fly ball to center field. Uh, fly out. Eight and um, Henrik, by the way, is a left-handed pitcher, and um, or uh, Zoldak, by the way, is a left-handed pitcher, and Henrik is the bat. No, Joe DiMaggio is the batter. Joe DiMaggio is the hitter, and he gets a two-five, and that is going to be a double. So Joe DiMaggio ripping one down the line, and he gets a double. So far, every roll has been off the batter's cards, but only one guy has reached. And that brings up Tommy Henrik, and he gets a 3-3, three, three, and that's going to be a ground ball first base. So he is out. And the Yankees go pretty quickly there in the first, and now we will discuss the St. Louis Browns lineup. And the uh, St. Louis Browns will lead off with Bob Dillinger at third base. And here's the other advantage I'm going to give them. Rusty Peters will be a second baseman. Rusty Peters in 1947 only had 47 at-bats, ironically. But he hit 340 in those 47 at-bats, and he was good against righty or lefty. Didn't matter, so he's going to be the second baseman, even though he didn't play much. Wally Judnick will be the third hitter, and he will be uh, at first base. Then Jeff Heath 
the left fielder will bat in the cleanup spot. Number five will be Vern Stevens at shortstop. Uh, Ray Coleman will be the right fielder. Al Zarilla will be the center fielder and batting seventh. Jake Early is going to be the catcher batting eighth. And Sam Zoldak, a number two hitting pitcher, will bat in the ninth spot. And uh, we'll get underway with that. And they're all facing my main man, Vic Rash. And we have that going under there again. And that is a 5-8. So 5-8. Dillinger is a right-handed batter. And uh, that's going to be a fly ball center field. So he gets a fly out eight. Peters is up the 340 hitting Peters in just a few at bats. He gets a four eight and he is a righty. And that is going to be a pop out to shortstop. Pop out six and Wally Judnick is the batter. And he gets a 2-7, which is going to be a fly ball to center field. So the Browns go pretty quickly there. 0-0 zero, zero after one. And we got George McQuinn batting. The first baseman for the Yankees. And he gets a 1-3 against a lefty. That is going to be a line out to second base. He does a line out four. We got um, Billy Billy Johnson, not Billy White Shoes Johnson, but Billy Johnson, and he's batting right. Five eight is going to be a ground ball. Second base X. The second baseman is um, for the uh, the second baseman for the. Oh yeah, that's the guy, the part time dude. He is a four. And uh, that is an eight. So let's see what four eight is at second base. Four and eight is that's yeah that's a that's a uh, oh wait a minute. No, nope, that's going to be on his card, and he's an e forty one. So that is a nine nine at second base for an e forty one is going to be an e one. So you. You could have probably figured one way or the other he was going to make an error. So Billy Johnson is on by an E4. And then Lindell is the batter. One guy on, one guy out. And Johnny Lindell up, and he gets a 5-6. He is a righty, and uh, that is going to be a fly ball left field. F7 and Sternweiss, Stuffy Sternweiss. I like to say that name too. There is a four, that's a four, five, and a righty on a lefty, and that is going to be a double. And um, this is a double where we can send the lead runner. And the lead runner is Johnson. Johnson running is a one to 14, and going to left field. Uh, the left fielder's arm for the for the Browns is a zero, so it would be one to fourteen. They're going to send him, and he does make it. So that is a run scoring double right there by Sternweiss with the pitcher coming up, which is why they did it. And that will be an unearned run against Zoldak, and then the pitcher up. And he gets a 3-7, and that's going to be a strikeout. So you knew Vic Rashi might get out, and so they had to uh, do what they could, the Yankees, to get that run across, and they did. But it's only one nothing. The Yankees, much better than the Browns, but it's only one nothing going into the bottom of the second with Jeff Heath, the batter. He gets a 6-7, and that is going to be a single. Heath gets a hit. That's the first hit, I believe, for the Browns. And Vern Stevens is up the shortstop, gets a 4-3.
and uh, that's going to be a fly ball to right <clears throat> to right field. Right fielder for the Yankees is Henrik. He is a one. That is a seven. I'm going to guess that's an out. And it is a fly ball C. One down. Um, so let's see. That's a fly ball left field. And Coleman, Ray Coleman is up. And he gets a 2-4, and a 2-4 against a righty is going to be a walk. So they, the Browns have a little bit of a threat going here. They've got two runners on with only one out and Al Zarilla up. And he gets a 6-5. He is a lefty, and that's going to be um, a fly ball left field, B. So they're two down. And Jake Early is up. And 2-8 is going to be a fly ball center field B. So the Browns get no runs in the second, <clears throat> and we advanced. We are advancing to the top of the third inning, where the Yankees have the top of the lineup and Phil Rizzuto up. And he gets a 1-9 against a lefty, and that's going to be a double. So uh, Phil Rizzuto leads off the third with a double. They're just going to let... Um, they're going to let uh, Yogi Berra hit. He gets a 2-3. That's going to be a pop-out to first base. Joe DiMaggio, now if you know me, I'm not a big fan of sacrificing anyway, in general. 5-8 uh, for DiMaggio is going to be a ground ball second base X, the second baseman. Again, he's a four. That is a six. Let's see if that's on his card. Six, four. That is going to be a single one asterisk. So they, they are being hurt by the fact that Peters is the second baseman. Uh, although probably, the, I mean, the second baseman, obviously, the starting second baseman for the Browns would be better. But how much better? Henrik is up, and he gets a 3-7, and uh, against a left-handed pitcher, that's going to be a pop-out to shortstop, as uh, he himself was a left-handed batter. And so George McQuinn is the batter with runners at the corners and two down. And he gets a 3-6, and that looks like it's going to be a base hit, and it is definitely going to be, and it's going to be not only that, it's going to be a double but it's a double, uh, two asterisks, so the runner will stop at third. But that is another run. And Rizzuto scoring the run for the Yankees, who now have a 2 nothing lead. And Billy Johnson's up, and he gets 3-2, and that is going to be a round ball shortstop. So he goes 6-3, to three. the Yankees get another run, and it is 2 nothing. And Sam Zoldak is the batter for the uh, for the uh, St. Louis Browns here, um, and he gets a five-seven. He's batting left, so that's a strikeout. Strikeout. Sam Zoldak goes down, and that takes us to the. Back to the top of the Browns order with Bob Dillinger, the third baseman, batting. And he gets a 6-9. He is a righty. And that is a pop-out to second base. And Peters is the batter. Rusty Peters. And he gets a strikeout right in the middle of a column where he had nothing but hits or on-base chances. But it is an out and... The uh, Browns go relatively quickly there. In fact, they go very quickly. They go one, two, three. So it is two nothing Yankees after three. We go to the top of the fourth and Lindell up. And that is going to be a 5-11. 5-11 for a righty um, is going to be a ground ball 
third base. So that is a five. He's out five to three. Stuffy Stormweiss is up. The shortstop, or no, the uh, second baseman. And he gets a one four, and that is going to be a triple. So a triple for Sternweiss. And uh, yeah, I don't think it really helped that Zoldak is their best starter. <laughs> Not against the Yankees, it didn't. There is one down, though, and a runner at third. There's there, you know what? I, I will play the infield in. Uh, they're not going to bunt with Rashi, though, because that would be a, a suicide squeeze or a safety squeeze or some kind of squeeze, and we're not going to do that. And he, he gets a fly ball B anyway, which scores the, that's a fly ball right field B, so that scores the runner anyhow. And there is one down, no, there's two down, there's two down with Rizzuto up. So uh, Rashi got the job done there. And that is a 6-9, six, 6-9 nine, six, nine for Rizzuto, a right-handed batter. It is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is a 2. That is a 19, probably going to be an out. And it is. So Rizzuto grounds out to the shortstop, 6-3. And the Yankees, though, get another run. So the Yankees have scored one single run in three consecutive innings to have a 3 nothing lead here. And um, Wally Judnick is the batter for the Browns, who are still in this game. You have to say they're still in this game, but it's starting to slip away. 5-9, he is a lefty, and that is going to be a fly ball left field. F7 for Judnick, and uh, Heath is up. Jeff Heath gets a 5-9. He is a left-handed batter. That is going to be a fly ball left field. And Vern Stevens is the batter. And he gets a 3-11, and 3-11 is going to be a ballpark home run, and he is a right-handed batter. And uh, that is a home run 1-15, to and it is... Vern Stevens goes deep and gives them their first run of the game. And I want to mention, we are in Sportsman Park in St. Louis. And the home runs were crazy. For a left-handed batter, it's a, it's a home run 1-18. to 18, And for a righty, it's a 1-15. to 15. So that must have been like a little band box they played in. But Ray Coleman's up and it helped them there. And then 2-3 is going to be a... Single. So Ray Coleman gets a base hit. Of course, the I don't think the Browns can count on putting hits together. They're going to have to do just what uh, Stevens did. They're going to have to hit home runs. 311 is going to be a ground ball third base B. So he grounds out 5-3. to three, But the Browns do get a run of their own, and it's 3-1, to one, top of the fifth. Pretty good game here. I mean, it's not a bad game considering... The records of these two teams and where they finished and how their 1947s played out. But Yogi Bear is going to be the batter here. Uh, he gets a 1 9, and that is going to be a single. So Bear leads off the fifth with a single. Joe DiMaggio, Jolton Joe is up. They're not going to do anything crazy with him up. Um, and he gets a, um, man, he gets a triple. He gets a, <laughs> triples in the run. And that's why you don't do anything crazy with Jolt and Joe up. So that's a triple and another run. And, uh, and a guy only 90 feet away with no outs. <clears throat> and Tommy Henrik up. He gets a 3-7. That's going to be a ground ball. Second base A. So, ground out scores the runner. And McQuinn is up. George McQuinn gets a 6-7, and he is a lefty. And that's going to be a ground ball. What is that? Second base A, so he grounds out. 
four to three and Billy Johnson's up and he gets a three five three five is going to be a walk so Billy Johnson is working a walk with two down here actually and Johnny Lindell gets a six six and he is a righty and uh that's going to be a fly ball center field But two more runs come in for the Yankees in the fifth. And now they have a pretty commanding lead. It's five to one. And the uh, one for the Browns just came on a, a home run by Vern Stevens. So they're going to have to hit some home runs. They're going to have to hit a few more. Um, Jake Early is the batter. He gets a 3-7, and uh, against a righty, that's going to be a walk, it looks like. Yes. So Jake Early is on board with a walk, and Zoldak will sacrifice him over, but they're going to keep him in the game. And that does advance the batter, but he is out at first, one away. And Dillinger is the batter. Dillinger with a man at second. He has a chance to knock a run in here. 3-7, though. He is going to hit a fly ball to center field. And that brings up... Um, Peters. And Peters gets a 1-12. That is a ballpark single. And he is a righty, and that is going to be not a single. It's going to be a ground ball to second base. So uh, Peters gets a, um, yeah. He gets a 4-3 and no runs come in, despite a guy getting on and getting as far as second base. But it didn't work, for, it didn't work out for him. It just did not work out for him. And now we're going back to the Yankees batting with Stuffy Sternweiss here in the sixth with a 5-1 to one lead for the Yankees. And uh, he gets a 3-7, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. He gets a 6-3. That'll bring up Vic Rashi. Vic Rashi gets a 5-3. Um, he is a right-handed batter. That's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. The pitcher is a uh, defense two. That is a seven. Probably going to be an out. That's my guess. Uh, no, we got to go to his, uh, his E rating. And his E rating is an eight. So we're going to roll the dice and we're going to do the uh, E rating thing for the pitcher. That's an eight. And uh, eight is going to be a ground ball A. So that is an out. He goes Vic Rash, or wait a minute. Yeah, Vic Rash, he goes one to three. And that brings Rizzuto up again. Hall of Famer, Phil Rizzuto, for some reason. He got a foul. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Phil Rizzuto. That is a foul out to the, um... no, that's a ground ball third base. Ground ball third base. Five to three, and no runs. Finally, Zoldak holds him again. He's held him to zero in the first inning, but then he allowed runs to them in the second, third, fourth, and fifth, and now he just shut him down again. So it is still five to one Yankees with Wally Judnick, the batter for the Browns. He gets a four six, and he is batting left, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. F8, and Heath is up with one down. That is a 210, and a 210 is going to be, uh, what is he? He's a, um, against a left-handed pitcher. That's going to be a fly ball center field. Or wait a minute. No, this is Heath. All right, this is Heath batting against... Uh, batting against um, Rashi, and he is a right-hander. That was a 210, so that's going to actually be a double. 
So Heath gets a double, far from being out. But they have one out with a man at second. They've got to try to get this guy in. Vern Stevens is up, and he gets a 1-6, and that is going to be a strikeout. And there is two down very quickly, and Ray Coleman up. And Ray Coleman gets a 1-3, and that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher, 1-3. to three. So they don't get it, even though they did get a man to second base. We go to the top of the seventh, this game moving right along. Not a lot of really, not a lot of base runners, not a lot of traffic on the bases. Yankees ahead, though, 5-1, to one, and Yogi Berra is the batter. And he gets a 5-10. 5-10 batting lefty. That's going to be a strikeout. So, uh, Yogi Bear strikes out. And Joe DiMaggio, the Jolton Joe, gets a 3-8. Uh, a and a 3-8 is a line out to third base. And Jolton Joe today, uh, he is, he, he was, yeah, that was the first time he was out. He's three for four with a triple, a double, a single, and a line out. If he gets a home run the next time, he hits for the cycle, if there is a next time for him. Henrik comes up and he gets a 211, and that is going to be a ballpark home run, and he's batting left. You got to believe that is de definitely a home run, and Henrik hits it out of here. And they get another run. Yet another run. Now, Zoldak, you might wonder, why am I not taking Zoldak out? Well, he, in 1947, first of all, he was the Browns' best pitcher. And he pitched 171 innings. So he has the mileage, and there's nobody in the bullpen probably that's better than him. George McQueen, it's probably a small miracle that the Yankees only have six runs. And... <laughs> And you don't usually hear that said in a sentence, but yes, 6-4, he is a lefty, and that is going to be a fly ball center field X, the center fielder for these guys, for the Browns is a 4, that is a 9, let's see what that is, 9 and 4, that's got to go to his card, and he is an E5, so actually that's not too bad. That is a 10, a roll of 10 on the center fielder of an E5. And that's going to be a fly ball B. So I think that that's the last out, right? McQuinn is the last out. Yep, fly ball out to center field. And... Um, the, but the Yankees got another run, and it is six to one. We go to the bottom of the innings. Uh, Zarilla is the batter. Al Zarilla. He gets a four five batting left. That is going to be a ground ball. Shortstop. Shortstop is a one. That's an eleven. Let's see if that is an out. Um, eleven is going to be on Rizzuto's. Um, card and he is an E26. So his E rating isn't that bad. Isn't that good? 10, shortstop 10, uh, E26, or a roll of, a roll of 10 e, uh, on an E26 is a ground ball A. So that is a ground ball. Six to three. And that brings to the plate. Oh, wait a minute. That was the first hitter. Okay, that was the first hitter this inning. That brings Jake Early up with one down and nobody on. And he gets a 311 and against a right handed pitcher, that's a pop out to second. Pop out. Four, and that does bring up Zoldak, the pitcher. They will pinch hit for him. The pinch hitter will be Hank, Hank Thompson. Excuse me. Getting a little dry throat here. Um, Hank Thompson is going to bat, and he gets a 1-7, and that is going to be a single. So 
he's on board with a hit, but that's the only guy they have on, and they have two outs. So Bob Dillinger is up, and he gets a 4-6 batting right. That is going to be a line out to third base. And no runs come across for the Browns in the seventh. And we will take Thompson out of the lineup. Put everything back. And uh, Billy Johnson, uh, I think, is the batter for the Yankees here. And we do need a new pitcher because we did pinch hit for Mr. Zoldak. So they're going to bring in, no, they're not going to bring him in. No, they're not going to, they don't want to bring him in. They're going to bring in Glenn Mulder. And Glenn Mulder in 1947 was 4-2 and two with a 362 earned run average in 73 innings pitched. He is a right-handed pitcher. So Billy Johnson will be the first batter to face him. And he gets a 312, and against a righty, that is a ballpark home run, and he is a batting right, and um, that is going to be um, a home run. So Billy Johnson gets a home run, and Mulder is greeted with some X-Files as he allows a home run. <laughs> And uh, Johnny Lindell is up, and he gets a 111. That's going to be a ground ball second base. So he goes out four to three. There's one down. Stuffy Sternweiss gets a 5-9, and a 5-9 for a righty um, is going to be a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is a two. That is a six, probably an out. That would be my guess, and it is. He goes out 6-3, to three, which brings up Vic Rashi. And we're going to try to give Vic Rashi a complete game, even though he didn't have the innings to support that, but I don't really care. But this is a 112. It's a line out into as many outs as possible, which is only one out. So, <laughs> But it is the third out of the inning. So it's a 112, and it's a line out to second base. So line out four. The Yankees get a run, though. They've gotten, the Yankees have scored runs in every inning so far except the sixth and the first. And uh, Rusty Peters is going to be the batter against, um, now Rusty Peters, I played him today specifically to try to give them a little bit of an advantage because he hit 340. But he's actually 0 for 3 on the day. And he gets 4-9, batting right. And that is going to be a... What is that? A home run 1-6 to six if he has normal power. Um, and let's see, against a righty, he doesn't. So it is going to be... Uh, what is that? A single double asterisk? If, if it's not a home run, which is crazy, because it would have been a triple if he had gotten it, but I think it's a single. So, Peters gets his first hit of the day, um, but it's a single instead of a home run, and Wally Judnick is up, and he gets a 4-8. He's batting left, and that is going to be a walk. So, they got the first two batters on, though, here. So, we'll see what they can do with that. Um, two runners on. Now the Yankees got to get a little, well, not really a little concerned, not yet. But uh, that's a 210, and a 210 against a righty is going to be a home run. It's a home run 1-2, to two, and it is gone, and Heath hits a three-run home run. Unbelievable. Now, I said they weren't really going to get concerned, and I don't even know really now that they are, because that really makes the score, what is it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven to three. Or seven to four. Seven to four now. Vern Stevens is the batter. And Vern Stevens, you'll remember, he had a home run. 
hit earlier. And he gets a 1-9 batting against a right-handed pitcher. And that's going to be a ground ball B. So um, that's a ground, uh, ground ball to the pitcher, yeah. So 1-3, to three, he's out. And Coleman is out. Coleman's up with only one out. He gets a 5-7. And he is batting... Um, He's a left-handed batter, and that's going to be a strikeout. And now there's two down. And El Zarilla. And he gets a 6-7. He is a left-handed batter. And that is going to be a, a single. It's going to be a single. So they're not going down just yet. They have a runner at first. Two down, Jake early up, and he gets a 1-3, and that's a walk. And now he's in trouble again, and I think they have no choice but to pinch hit again. They're going to pinch hit Joe Schultz. And he gets a 2-4, which is a single. So that's going to be a single to load the bases. It was a split single, so um, they can't do anything with it. Anything more than just load the bases. But that's, you know, they'll take it with Bob Dillinger up. Now, you know what? A home run right here. I just want to say this. A home run right here, and they've tied the game. Or they're ahead, I think. 6-6, six, six, righty, righty. That is going to be... A strikeout. So Bob Dillinger finally strikes out to end the uh, eighth, but the uh, Browns do get three runs right there. The Brownies get three runs. And now it is seven to four Yankees. So this is kind of a game now. And they have to take Glenn Mulder out, and they have to bring in another pitcher because they pinch hit for him. And they are. They're going to bring in Cliff Fannin. Cliff Fannin in 1947 was 6-8 with a 358 earned run average. So he's going to be the new pitcher. He is a right-handed pitcher. And we are back at the top of the lineup, I believe, with uh, Phil Rizzuto for the Yankees. And he gets a 2-5, which is going to be a single. So Rizzuto gets a hit. And Yogi Bear is up, and he gets a 5-6. He is a left-handed batter. That is going to be a fly ball center field, one away. Yogi Bear today only has one hit. He's one for five. And Joe DiMaggio could get the... He didn't, though. <laughs> he could have gotten the, uh, the cycle if he'd hit a home run here, but he didn't, and it's going to be instead... A ground ball, shortstop, double play. So a 6-4-3 double play, and the Yankees are out in the ninth. And so here come the Browns. The Browns need three runs to tie the game. They could have gotten that with a grand slam last inning because they were in a position to get a grand slam, but it never happened. And uh, Rusty Peters is going to be the batter, and you know what? The Yankees are going to take Rashi out because they didn't like how he got uh, roughed up a little bit that last inning. So they will bring in... Um, I don't want to bring in a guy that was clearly... Here we go. They're going to bring in Randy Gumpert. Now, he wasn't very good. He was 4-1 and one with... Uh, a 5.43 earned run average in 56 innings, but he was mainly a reliever, and uh, they still do have a three-run lead on the Browns, who weren't very good. But Rusty Peters is going to greet him with an out. He is a right-handed pitcher, and that is going to be a ground ball second base. So um, 
He goes four to three. And Rand, it's safe to say uh, Rusty Peters didn't really work out as well as the Browns would probably have hoped. Wally Judnick gets a 2-3. And a 2-3 against a righty is a ground ball second base. So he goes four to three as well. And with two down really quickly, there's Heath. Heath is the batter. He had a home run last inning. And he gets a 2-7. And against a righty, that is going to be a fly ball center field B, and that is it. And we have our final score, which is Yankees 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to the Browns 4. 7 to 4. Actually, a little better game than I thought it would end up being. Uh, but that is it, and that is also going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.